Hi everyone, it's Jerry, and today I'm going to teach you how to add an expense claim through the Zero Touch app. So I know I don't usually actually go through and do lessons on uh, my free training videos that I have in this series. It's all about those confidence checklists, which you can find still below this video. But when I was going through the Help Center and the Zero videos, it uh, to provide you the resources of how to add an expense claim via the Zero Touch app, I realized that there wasn't actually a video or any real instructions out there. So it's pretty simple, but I am just going to talk you through uh, doing one so you can see how it works and also talk you through some of the limitations as well. I'm the first one to say that Zero Expense Claims does have a number of limitations and it's not always used uh, that often and it doesn't, definitely doesn't suit all businesses. But once you're dealing with those bigger businesses that do need to submit expense claims regularly straight into Zero with lots of staff, then that's when you really need to know what it can do. So you can make a choice of whether you want to use it or not. So let's go ahead and add an expense. So I actually use Receipt Bank myself. So for my in my own business, so I don't have any receipts with me um, other than the one where I went to uh, the butcher the other day. <laughs> so I'm going to put that one in for you. So here we go. We're in the Zero Touch app. I've logged into Zero Touch and I've gone into the demo company. I'm going to go right down the bottom where it says expenses on the dashboard or I could select expenses down there but I'll just hit the plus button next to the word expenses and I'm going to add in the details. So this is from M and A Butchery. There it is. I'm going to add an item. In this case, I'll just put it to groceries, add in my price, which was $118.15. I'll just put it to general expenses for this example, select done. Then I'm going to attach by taking a photo. So you can select take photo. And I literally am just going to take a photo of the receipt on my desk. Select use photo. So now that I've got a photo of the receipt there, I often just put in some extra details. This particular bill I've already paid. Um, so I just wanted to show you that you can write in the reference how it was paid. Because this can, when you, the expense claims doesn't have to just be about adding in expense claims that haven't been paid from staff and things. You can also use it to add receipts if you're not using something like Receipt Bank um, to do that for you. So if you're using just Zero or you've got clients that don't want to have additional apps, Initially, you can just use zero and you, um, as a habit, put in the reference box if it is paid, how it was paid. So then you know exactly how it was paid for when you uh, are then looking through the list later if you've got to work out whether you need to pay them or not. So that's the details there. So I'm going to select add. And there we go. My claim is now in my current claims and I can then go into the zero uh, app online and submit it for approval. Uh, now the one thing that I wanted, other thing that I wanted to mention was um, that you can't easily split. You can add two different items. So if I was buying my coffee for example um, and you want to split it 50-50, what you do is you go to add exp uh, expense item then you need to actually have the 50, split the 50% up yourself. So if it was a coffee and it was a $4 coffee and you put $2 to entertainment and $2 to drawings, then you do just need, to, you can do it, you just need to add in two separate lines. So one for $2 and put it to entertainment, and one for the other $2, put it to drawings or non-deductible, wherever you put it. So there we go. That's um, uh, how to add an expense claim through the Zero Touch app. If you have any more questions about how to use expense claims, then remember there is the link to my free training, How to Maximize the Potential of Zero. Expense Claims is day four. You can go to the site and see all of the other modules that I have available over the other seven days there. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye.